The race for creating the central bank digital currencies of the world is ongoing. As the crypto market gains more steam, governments and lawmakers across the globe are trying to find more ways to get ahead of the game. How to regulate this new digital asset built atop a decentralized and distributed ecosystem has never been an easy question to answer, especially for those in the United States of America. A question which has taken a whole new dimension since the adoption of Bitcoin as an official and generally accepted legal tender for the Republic of El Salvador. And even though other rivals to the United States, such as China, are silently making power moves and getting ahead of the game, the number one nation regarded as the world power, with landing imprints on tech innovations and more, has been seen to be reclining in that regard. Given the extent court proceedings between the U.S. financial watchdogs and Ripple Labs, one could easily see the inconsistency of the regulatory framework present in the U.S. financial markets. Not only that, the U.S. government doesn't acknowledge this new financial technology. It's made no effort to enter into the CBDC race. And even worse is the fact that the nation has gone ahead to admonish the one crypto project that could have seen it winning the CBDC race effortlessly. Don't expect anything to happen with XRP till this lawsuit is over, they say. But how true is that, given that this digital asset didn't break its all-time high for three years, not until the lawsuit ensued? I would say statements such as these could be regarded as a fallacy. And just like the proverbial saying that every disappointment is a blessing, believe me when I say this, greater things are yet to hit the cryptocurrency space. Welcome back to Make Money Online. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. We also have a completely free Discord group where we share daily signals with a community of like-minded traders and investors. You'll find a link for that in the video description. And now you can also support us on Patreon. We have several packages you can choose from according to your particular needs. And we have a special offer for our first 100 members. Only $9.99 for our VIP Discord channels, where we share much more in-depth analysis and even one-on-one -on -one sessions. Be sure to check out the links in the video description and in the pinned comment. Barely a few days after the call for a global collaboration by the international financial institutions of the world to ensure that these CBDCs are interoperable, the Central Bank of France, which had earlier proposed XRP as the basis for the nation's CBDC and the euro, and Singapore had gone ahead to test a cross-border network involving multiple CBDCs based on JP Morgan's blockchain infrastructure, the Onyx platform. Although the Bank of France had earlier hinted about Ethereum as a perfect candidate to power its CBDC, we all know that their best bet is none other than the Ripple platform, given Ethereum's scalability issues and JP Morgan's premature blockchain infrastructure. The Ripple protocol, once again, stands to be unrivaled. CBDCs are built on digital identification and could improve cross-border payments and limit the risks of currency substitution. A single platform that houses multiple CBDC arrangements circumvents the challenges of sharing digital IDs across borders. However, it requires an increased amount of international cooperation. One of the primary objectives to adopting a new payment system, such as the one provisioned by Ripple, is to proffer a single platform that could encourage a virtuous circle of greater access at a reduced cost and even better streamlined services. Features that have been long established on the Ripple protocol since its launch some eight years ago. We've got several crypto analysts and enthusiasts, such as the BitBoy Crypto, talking about the price of XRP hitting two digits within the next 12 months. Further on, the analyst said this concerning the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. I was very ardent that this had a good chance to destroy XRP because the government doesn't really lose. But somehow, it looks like the judge in the case is actually leaning towards Ripple and giving them the favorable judgment. We have a lot of evidence to suggest that. So what this means is that there's been a lot of bottled up pressure for XRP ever since this was announced in December. And while other coins like Ethereum and Bitcoin were exploding, you couldn't really even trade XRP places. So now, places are starting to put it back on the exchange, and it's really bubbling up, and if they get that favorable judgment, the price is going to absolutely explode and go past all-time highs. At this point, it suffices to say that the SEC could neither hinder Ripple's expansive growth as a company nor XRP's price increment, as we've seen this coin register gains in the hundredfold, crossing above the margins of its most significant all-time profits in three years. The SEC can't keep this lawsuit up since they're under more pressure to provide a clear-cut regulatory structure for these crypto assets, given that the judge could most likely adjourn the case, requesting that the SEC provide more information to bolster their allegations against Ripple. And Ripple seems to be doing just fine. 
Just as the SEC couldn't find any evidence in the request to pry into the defendant's financial records in the case, the court also asked them to provide documentation on a broader overview of the classification of cryptos, which the SEC is yet to deliver. And a failure to do so or produce any documents to back their claims continues to bolster the point that the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit is an ill-conceived one. More so, the reverse is the case at the moment. As time went by, we saw the SEC lawsuit become a bittersweet experience for Ripple, as these market experts correlate the recent pump in XRP's price to the ongoing investigation into the fintech startup. We have XRP registering more significant gains, breaking out to new all-time highs for the first time in over three years. We have exchanges talking about relisting XRP, and if Ripple gets a favorable judgment, which is most likely the case, then the price of XRP is going to explode to highs nearing two figures by the end of the year. According to a blog on Ripple's official website, the CBDC private ledger is based on the same blockchain technology that powers the XRP ledger, which means that the CBDC private ledger is built for payments. Moving money on the CBDC private ledger will be cost-effective, reliable, and close to instantaneous. Despite all of that, XRP has recorded almost 100%, pricely 97% increase in XRP sales in the first quarter of 2021, going up to about $150 million in quarter one, compared to its previous overall trading volume, which was around $75 million from quarter four of 2020. Similarly, Ripple had hinted that its on-demand liquidity functionality that aids clients across RippleNet to settle cross-border payments via XRP without the need for pre-funding, as with traditional banking, would also be a significant contributing factor to seeing the price of XRP soar. Given the current trend, I take a ticket right now and place my stop losses below the 30 cents margin. Because the clock is ticking for XRP. Right now is not the time to dilly dally on this one. Drawing upon the idea of a descending trend line on the XRP chart from all of the big wins and the higher highs, what is most apparent from back in the day is a coincidence with the 50% Fib level, which kind of seems right. A four-hour close above that level kind of buttresses this trend, as it gives us a validation that this is looking to take place from a closer horizon. With that, we have some sort of confirmation that the price is going to go higher. Thank you for watching today's video. Be sure to check out some of our previous videos as well. And if you liked what you watched, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. Remember, you can support us on Patreon and join our free Discord group. Links for both are in the video description. See you next time. Hollywood Carson.